Good Sunday morning, at least it's Sunday morning when I'm taping this. It's Candy from the Candy Show and I'm here with a Candles by Victoria Hall. Now it's been our first sunny, lovely weekend of the summer, which means we finally got some heat happening here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. So I just didn't have the heart to put a hot hair blower on my hair. So I got wet hair, but you know, it's Sunday morning. That's just how it rolls. So um, I'm just going to get right into the haul. I will tell you ahead of time two things. A, I've got a bit of a wheeze, so just ignore that this morning. And B, it looks like my thumb is dirty, but what's actually happening is do not doubt the effectiveness of Laura Geller's waterproof mascara because I got some on my hand and I washed my hands with soap and water and it would not come off, so I'm going to have to take some eye makeup remover to it. Anyway, without further ado, I have done one other Candles by Victoria haul. Although I've gotten candles from her three times. Victoria is down in the United States and she has a shop where she and her husband and her daughter and a few other employees hand make and hand pour these candles. And the ones I showed last time were beautiful candles in dessert nappies that looked like dessert. And in this haul I'm going to show you two different kinds of candles because it's from two different orders that I made with her. The first kind I'm going to show you are the mason jar candles. I got six of these, but two of them I've used up already, so I'll have four to share with you. She has so many scents, you will never get to the end of the scents. Just to show you, it's a, I got the sampler pack. She has small mason jars, you know the ones that are that big? This one, and then bigger ones. Um, so I got a sample pack of six of this size. And this pretty bright yellow one is called Caramelized Banana Split. And the top just comes off and there's one wick in these candles. And it does indeed smell exactly like caramelized banana split. Even these smaller candles fill a really big room with scent. They're so beautiful. And I'll just tell you the other flavors I got. I also got, I call them flavors because I feel like I should be able to eat them. Bahama Breeze is this pretty blue, which is great for summer. This one is called Cafe Ole, and I love coffee scented candles. Got my hair on that one. And this one is called Cucumber Melon, another beautiful one for summer. So that's the jar of candles. She has a fairly new line of candles, which she calls her Coffee Cup Cuties. And these are spectacular. So uh, they come in these little clear coffee cups with these cute little bows on the side and each one is a different beautiful design. So this one is called Cowboy Cutie and it's got two cowboy boots and a cowboy hat and beautiful glitter on the top. Uh, I can't explain what they smell like because I'm not good at explaining smells um, but suffice it to say they smell beautiful. These come with two wicks in them and her candles burn forever. Like if you compare them to like a Bath and Body Works candle you know, I can go through a Bath and Body Works candle in a week, the big, uh, you know, uh, triple wick ones, but these take way longer than that to burn. They are so beautiful. This one I will probably save for winter. It is called Cold December Night Cutie. And as you can see on the top, there are stars and blue glitter and tiny little pale blue balls and what looks like white snow on top of a blue-based candle and uh, it smells kind of like mint. It kind of makes you think of winter. Here's another blue one. Oops, my ribbon came down. Another cute blue one. This one's called Barefoot in Blue Jeans Cutie, which is cool because I just thought of the blue of a pair of jeans. And there's two little bare feet on the top with some uh, white, sort of looks, uh, I don't know, just like white whipped cream sort of and little baby blue balls and again oh smells delicious this guy's so cute this is called bath time with poo and it's all white and then it's on top it's white with like pale blue and pale pink little balls and glitter and then Winnie the Pooh is stuck in there and it looks like he's like in the bath with all kinds of bubble bath all around him and it smells gorgeous as well. Love the color of that one. This one might be my favorite color of these coffee cuties because it's a very candy color. It's called Gain Island Fresh Cutie and it smells like Gain Laundry Detergent and it just looks like a bunch of bubbles 
but they're all pink and white and there's all kinds of glitter and they're just re it's really really super cute and it smells just like that awesome smell of Gain laundry detergent so um, that's gonna be one of those ones that I would compare it to like the smell of clean cotton you know your whole house just smells fresh and clean when you burn it here's a really bright pretty red one this is called strawberry margarita cutie and uh, Victoria didn't tell me I had to but I think I'm gonna have to drink a strawberry margarita each and every time I burn this because that's exactly what it smells like instead of a salted rim it's a glittered rim there's a beautiful uh, strawberry in it and a little slice of lime and this also came with a straw a cute little straw and a cute little cocktail umbrella in it um, which was so adorable now this one is perfect for this time of the year it is called go go juice cutie and it has little flip flops little thong sandals on the top it's white with the thong sandals in pink with a white topping and the pink glitter on it and it too smells fantastic and my final coffee cup cutie is captain crunch berry cutie and it is exactly what it smells like first of all look how cute it is it looks like a bunch of raspberries with a spoon all this is made in wax that she forms and puts on them and these are very very heavy I'm not sure how many ounces but if you go on her website it'll tell you how many ounces and this smells exactly like a bowl of Captain Crunch with berries on top the thing that amazes me both besides the visual um, how visually exciting these are like Denise gets an eye tick of how much stuff I order online but whether she wants to admit it or not she gets excited when candles by Victoria boxes arrive because <laughs> she wants to see what they're going to look like and what they're going to smell like and they smell so beautiful and what always amazes me is how accurate she gets the smell like that gain one smells just like gain laundry detergent in my dessert ones I had one that was Fruit Loops and unbelievably it smelled exactly like exactly like a bowl of Fruit Loops so these are fantastic she will send to Canada you just can't order through the website you have to email her directly tell her what you want and then she will give you a quote on how much it will cost she used to send via UPS I'm glad she doesn't anymore because UPS was kind of a pain in the ass delivering here like they would never actually ring my bell and then I'd have to drive all around trying to find what you know what warehouse they were storing the candles at anyway I just I didn't find it very good now she does it with the mail which works better um, usually I don't have to pay customs although I did get dinged uh, for customs on this final one this most recent one I got with the cuties I think I paid about 50 bucks in customs so that was a little steep um, but anyway there are seven more of these uh, coffee cuties that I don't have yet that I will plan to order in the future once I've burned through all the lovely ones I have now and I will leave a link to um, Victoria's website down below I highly recommend these candles they're absolutely spectacular um, just beware don't burn them really close to a um, fire detector or smoke detector because she uses the wicks that have like wire in the middle I'm assuming that's why when you blow them out they really smoke when you first blow them out and they will set off your fire alarm if it's too close to the smoke detector but other than that you, you have no problem with them so that's my home I'm gonna go and light one now so thank you very much for watching please wear a condom every time don't drink and drive and if it's a nice sunny day wherever you are get out there and enjoy it thanks for watching see ya